again they're not supposed to do that there's a lot of damage from the freeze on it so one of the things that you could do with a with a woody ornamental such as this is scrape it and see if you have some green that's a little bit of discoloration like sort of a light green i prefer something a little bit of a darker green another sign is if you bend it, it still has some life in it, it should be okay if it is brown until you get to a certain point of a green and once you find that green then you can prune from there and then see i'm gonna hope uh, after the freeze we're gonna leave all this on as a protective measure after uh, we're clear and past all the freeze then we'll see if new buds and new growth start coming out and then we'll determine whether we're gonna prune it now or cut it back or let it just fill in all right so now we're in another part of the garden and this is uh, it received full north exposure full northern exposure on this part this plant what you see here is called an indigo spires it's a type of salvia you can always tell salvia's square stems this thing is a great uh, bee pollinator hummingbirds like it also they, it has really beautiful purplish bluish indigo flowers um, so a couple of things I wanted to show you guys that you can see on on the plant from the freeze damage uh, if you see the stem right here and then so that outer part is called the cambrian um, it was it had so much water inside these cells and then it just uh, eventually burst so that's why you see it separated like this so we know that all of this is dead and died back um, it being a perennial it's natural that it's going to do that um, we're going to again take our trusty little pruner see that it is brown go to another part here and it looks green so this is all the way back to the base so once we are safe safe to do that past our freeze then we're going to cut this perennial all the way back back down to the ground and then it'll 